time for details. Hello and welcome to Dubai Trains. In this video, we're gonna add a load of details to this building. And I have this detail kit from ITLA and it comes with exactly that. And it even comes with a complimentary sheet of prints, posters, and signs. Let's start with the assembly and it's quite straightforward because you just stack the different elements in order to create some thickness and different layers of detail. So to do this, I just remove the pieces from the carrier sheet and smoothen it with the X-Acto knife where needed. And then I just glue all the different elements together with matte medium. So here you see it where most of the pieces that need to be stacked uh, before paint are done. And talking about paint, now it's time to paint and prime. As you see, I did not stack everything because some items I want to now pre-paint as you see the details. So these little fan blades, I want to give them a little bit of um, metallic silver just to add a little bit of detail. But other elements like on the right, like those gas meters and cabinets, they can already be stacked because they don't need this uh, intricate detail. And now it's also time to paint all the other elements like this fire access point. You want to have that red and you want to take your time and add a lot of very thin layers. I'm not thinning the paint, but I am using a thin layers and I jab the brush a little bit just to get it in all the details. And you, you want to use several thin layers because otherwise you're going to lose the details that are on it because there is the word fire engraved on it. as you'll see in a bit. And you don't want to lose those nice details and you can never go fine enough with your details. So here I'm just carefully painting with the toothpick the uh, electrical meter that is normally a bit of a silverish whitish color here's another meter i think it's a gas meter i have no idea which color that is i'm just going to use this blue just to mix it up a little bit and now everything looks a bit too fresh for my taste so we're going to start to fade everything with a very with the sponging of a light gray it doesn't really matter which light gray it is it can even be white as long as it's just lighter than this um, this color that we already have on it and after that, I apply the first layer of rust very gently. And this is just a mix of burnt umber and burnt sienna on a sponge again, and I sponge the various elements. And then once that's done, we can finally assemble the other pieces that need to be stacked. So you see here, I use a very little matte medium. I try to work as accurate as I can. It's much smaller than it seems on the camera. So take your time to do this. And here is the end result. And just look at that detail. Those louvre vents, you can actually look through it. And that is actually quite amazing. It's so finely detailed, yet still sturdy uh, to work with and to paint and to hold and to manipulate. Now, if you've enjoyed all these little details thus far, please like the video so other people can find it as well. So there's onto a wash. I want to apply a wash over almost everything. So here you see the fire connection point that we painted earlier. And with the wash, you see, is that the detail really pops out. Especially when this dry, all the, the paint is going to go in those details, in those, those bolt holes and the letters and everything. So it would just really make it pop a bit more. Now, another last important step is to whether the subject with these details are going to go on to, as you see here. That will really create a, uh, a relationship between the, 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 the bricks in this case and the element, the cabinets that you're going to glue onto it. So you see, I did that here with this vent. It really places the subject on the wall as opposed to just some element that's floating somewhere around there. Now for all this assembly, I use again a map medium. One thing I want to do is add this billboard to that big concrete wall. So first I cut it out and then we come to a bit of an important step um, and for various reasons. We want to color the edge of the billboard in the same color as the billboard. So in this case, it's black. Because if you leave it white, you're gonna see it and it's really not nice. But do look for a marker that is really waterproof. Because as you see here in this test image on the top left, that marker was supposed to be permanent, but it turned out to be a not so permanent marker. And if you glue it on with matte medium and your marker is a not so permanent marker, then it will leak all over your model. So you don't want that. Now we're looking at all these loads of details. There's different elements. You have the details that come with the building because the building needs certain utilities. And there's also outside elements. And that will be in this case, these posters that people have been sticking on to the building. And then we also have signage for the building itself. So here is a offloading service base sign. And I really was looking where to place this because it sounds so easy, but if you place it to the right of the door, and the door opens, you won't see the sign. You can place it on top of the door, but it's a bit high. You can place it underneath it, but it also seems a bit weird. So I almost placed it on the door. The last minute I thought that this would be a better location. 
Then add some more posters. This one, they didn't use enough glue, so the corner just edged down a bit. And the fire connection point, I think, would be on the street side. Um, so that's why I put it right here on the side of the building where the street is and not on the other side where the offloading bay is. Now I have one of these advertisement billboards that I really wanted to add to the building. You'll be able to see it from the railroad and it is advertising tobacco. So I think the, the railroad crew would appreciate that. But I noticed that it's a bit bigger than the uh, the wall I have. So I filled up the wall with some, some leftover pieces from the kit just gave it a quick once over with a gray paint to, yeah, to try to simulate maybe that it's an old wood that they use there. Then I glued on the billboard and that really gives some extra flair and a little bit of color to the model. So as you see, we have the blue of the doors, that's one color, and this yellow is nice for the advertisement, just to draw the eye to that side of the building as well. I'm really happy all, how all these details worked out and it really ties the building into the scene. So you can see with the details that we added that it's going to have a relationship with the road and the sidewalk that's going to be there. And again, the uh, the billboard has a relationship with where the train is so people can see it. And it really just lands in the building and sets it into place later when the scenery is there as well. So thank you guys all for watching. That's it for today. Bye-bye.